Okay, let me get this straight. So, to be clear, I have a checking and a savings, but I'm just inquiring about the savings. Yes, sir. Okay, so just okay. give me the just give me the balance on the on the savings, and then we can uh, out we can talk about the uh, the CD. Okay, can you verify the last four of your uh, social forming? Nine six two three. Okay, and for the last name, one more time. Laird. Hold on, wait. Is it two savings accounts or is this one savings account? No, you just have a savings and a checking. Hold on, wait, wait one second. Hold on. The savings account has what? $120.17. I'm sorry, what's your name again, ma'am? Katrina. Okay, Katrina. I I'm sorry, that's just, it's just shock. As of when was that the balance? As of when? Okay, hold on. There, there, there should be only one person on the account. It was a, it was originally a, a joint account, but I took her off. So who, who made this withdrawal? Uh, looks like the joint made the, the withdrawal. Who? Um. Yeah, because this don't make sense to me at all. That, 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 that clearly that account that can't be right. That account has six figures in it. That's her middle name, but no, she's not on account. No, she's not on that account anymore. No, I took her off. That's my ex-wife. I took her off that account. So what are you telling me? I took her off the account. It's been maybe two weeks ago since I took her off that account. Okay, well, I do apologize for any inconvenience. It looks like that the name is still on there. So I will have to check with someone to see if the paperwork was done. If the paperwork was done, maybe someone forgot to take the name off the account. Who withdrew? Okay. How much was how much money was withdrawn from there? Because I'm, I'm I'm really trying to I'm trying to stay calm about this, but this, and I'm hoping you tell me there's an error on your end. Check was cut for eighty nine thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. What, what kind of wait? I'm sorry. Say that again. A cashier's check was uh, cut for eighty nine thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. To who? Who did y'all make a to, to, the, to the other person that was on the account? Okay, well, here's the deal. This is where y'all dropped the ball at because that woman was taken off this account two weeks ago. So you guys dropped the ball on that. I made it clear when I called in. Mr. Lair, Mr. Lair, I do apologize. Again, I apologize. I, I understand your frustration. Please don't yell at me. Okay. We're going to figure out how, what happened. Yeah, I don't, I don't really want no apology. I really want this rectified. I, I, I mean, you, you telling me I, I apologize doesn't fix this because you guys dropped the ball. I took this woman off the account two weeks ago. And if y'all left her, left her on the account for whatever reason... And you allow her to take that out, then that's on you guys. You're right. And again, we are, I truly apologize. I will need to get Wait a minute. Money. What paperwork? I, I've got the paperwork when I, in which I took her off. This, How could she get back on the account? Please explain that to me. Unfortunately, it looks like they did not remove the name. Who is they? The person that you were in the office. Whoever you saw to do the paperwork to remove that person didn't take her off. Okay, let, let me make sure. Half of the transaction, unfortunately. Okay, what, okay I'm, I'm going I'm to get back to that. How much is in the checking account now? Okay. She's not on that checking account. How much, how much is on the checking account? The checking account has $20,520. Here's the deal. What's your name again, ma'am? Katrina. Katrina, here's the deal. Please excuse me if I'm raising my voice. I'm just a little passionate about my money being missing. It's okay. So, no, it's not okay. No, hold, hold on. Wait a minute. It's not okay because my money's still missing. Unless you're telling me that that money's going to be put back in that immediately, effective immediately, then it's not okay. Now, here's, here's what we can do. We can stop, put a stop pay on the check if she has not cashed it. It's been... Okay, when, when was this withdrawn? Nobody's going to hold on to that amount of money for... Uh, when was it withdrawn? On the 26th of last month. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure she's cash. Okay, what can we do now moving forward? Because that, that money's not hers and she's not supposed to be able to withdraw that money because I was specific about taking her off that account. So what can we do moving forward to fix this? Because I'm really trying to, I'm trying to keep it together without really snapping right now. So what can we do? Because well, I want my money back. That is not her money. Okay, well, unfortunately, I will have to get with my supervisor and 
Yeah. Yeah. Call, yeah, call your supervisor. If you can, if you can put me on hold and get the supervisor, I'm all for it. I'm all for okay, it. Yes. Okay, yeah. On, one second. All this damn apologize. I don't apologize to me. Just get the damn money back in there. They didn't let this woman run a muck and got the money. Okay. All right. If she hasn't cashed it, we can put a stop. Who gonna hold on to that much money for that long for twenty? Okay, Mr. Lyle? Yes. All of my, here's the deal. Uh, Katrina, listen, here's the deal. All of my information is on my file. You have everything that you need from me. Somebody needs to contact me. I don't, I don't, I don't at this point, I don't even want to talk to a supervisor. I need to talk to whoever the head of that bank is. Because what y'all looking at is a huge lawsuit. That's what y'all really looking at. Because y'all allowed somebody to take some money off my account when I've already taken this person. We don't, that, that, that account is not a joint, that, that savings is not a joint account. At all. So, your supervisor needs to get back with me. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to just wait. I'm going to wait till she come back from lunch. We just going to sit on the phone together. And wait. So wait, the checking, the savings account has $100 in it. The savings account has $120.17. Okay, can you tell me, can you tell me the representative that, 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 that okay this transaction? Or are you able to pull it up and see who, who, who was the, uh, Who's the representative who, who who allowed this to go out? Yes, sir. Yeah, please let me know that name. Yeah, let's do that. Do you by chance still have the business card that they gave you? My business card? Yeah, I got it. The business, the business Wait. card that the, the representative that you spoke with? No, ma'am, listen. I don't have no business card. I don't know who that was. Okay, Mr. Lard. Mr. Lard, I understand your frustration. I am currently looking up. Give me one second. I'm going to close yeah. the Yeah, because I don't have time to be thinking about who gave me a business card when when... It's ninety thousand dollars missing out of the account. Okay, Mr. Lyle, I'm gonna close the report. I am back. So it looks like um, the teller at the North Branch that you went to. Yes. Helped you. Okay, so in her name, she gave you the business card. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like she gave you the business card and gave you the account number. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Here's the deal: Is Brandon at work today? Because he'll remember me. I'm going to say this, Katrina, and, and I, 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 with the utmost respect is what I mean. So I don't want you to think I'm taking this out on you. You got to understand how pissed I could be right now being at somebody. Okay, here's the deal. Somebody is going to put that money back in my account. Y'all didn't let this woman go out and take money off my account when I took her off the account. You guys are liable for that. Y'all on the hook for that. So whatever you got to do to make this thing happen, by all means, do that. Because I'm, I'm pissed and I'm ready to take legal action at this point. Um, where is your uh, can you tell me where your supervisor is please in an hour, in an hour? Yeah. what is your employee number and I'm, I'm, I'm just i'm just trying to make sure i get a track record for everybody that i speak to knowing that seeing, seeing that you guys are are, are just allowing uh, customers to run amok and just tell y'all anything what is your employee my number my employee number is one two five Hold on, let me write this down because I'm not going to, I don't want to have to speak to the next person. And they say, well, we don't know who you spoke to last. Katrina, right? Yes, sir. Hold on, let me write this down. And again, I do apologize. Ma'am, listen to me. To be honest with you, to, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, I really, I don't, I really, I don't want to hear that anymore. I really don't, I don't want to hear no apologies. Okay. Only thing I need to hear is we made a mistake and we're going to make sure that we get this money back in there. And y'all need to, y'all, why, how could you put her back? How, let me, let me ask you something. I'm not in banking. I don't know. But let me ask you this. How is it possible for me to contact the bank? I went into the bank. I didn't, I didn't call. I went into the bank. I had that person removed. I'm the primary on that account. I had her removed. How is it that she can wiggle her way back onto my account and then make a withdrawal and you guys give her a cashier's check for $89,000? Can you please make that make sense for me? Please. Don't apologize. I just want you to make it make sense, please. Please don't yell at me, Mr. Yard. Lair, I understand you are upset. It looks like that the, the paperwork was done, but they did not remove the name. So the teller that she went to did not know that she was not supposed to be on the account. Okay. I tell you what, Katrina, this is what we're going to do. 
I want you to have your supervisor. And I want to speak to the owner of to, to whoever the regional manager is of that bank. I want their phone number. I want their email address. And I need to have and somebody needs to contact me today. This is not one of these matters where we can just wait and a couple of days goes by. This is $90,000 taken out of my savings, which should not have been taken out of my savings, my savings. And by the way, it was more money in there than that. So what happened to the rest of it? It was 140 in that account. What happened to the rest of that money? Can you please explain that? I didn't, I didn't put nothing there. Listen to me. I have a direct deposit that goes into there. That, that amount of money right there that you're talking about, I don't know what, just tell me where the rest of the money go, went, please. Give me one second, I'll have to do some research. Is it okay if I put you on record? Oh, yes, please. Okay. I'm so hot right now. I'm so damn hot. Hey, 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 Katrina, Katrina, ma'am, ma'am, yes, sir. here's the deal. How, I don't think you can help me. You've done w w whatever you could do. Can you have your, what is your supervisor's name? Teresa. Have Teresa contact me. You have my number. You don't have to ask me my number. Have her, and please fill her in with the information because I don't want to have to give this whole redundant conversation again. Please have her contact me today. Can you, care, can you promise me that, sh that somebody will contact me today? Yes, sir. All right, cool. All right, well, listen, have them call me ASAP. Okay. Bye. I sure, I sure will. Bye.